Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is week number three in the Crafty Christmas collab that is hosted by Beth, um, who is Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube. <clears throat> and the um, this collab, um, we are to use one paper pad throughout the four weeks of November. And each week we show a different project that we've made with the paper pad. Um, you don't have to use up the entire pad or paper collection. You just have to use the same paper throughout this whole month or through these four videos. And the paper I have been using is Sugar Plums. And it is a Recollections um, Hot Buy pad from this year. I believe I picked it up back in... I think September is when I went up um, to my Michael's store. <clears throat> and um, for week one, I did show a little 4x4 four four mini album. And week two, I had a altered little pizza box. And it held 3x3 three three note cards. So if you haven't seen those two videos, um, go back and check those out. And um, in the description down below will be the links to all the other um, YouTubers who are participating. And just, you can go check out their projects and um, maybe get inspired to make something Christmassy. <clears throat> now, this isn't an actual, like, completed project because I ha cannot find a, like, a beading needle. I know I've got some here both in my craft room and in my bedroom where I have all my jewelry supplies. <clears throat> but I cannot find, right now, the actual needle to be able to um, do the twine binding. But these are just some really quick little journals that I threw together. Um, I actually had these covers. Well, they're not, they weren't covers at the time that I made them. They have little pockets on the inside. I still need to try um, attaching. I might try to adhere the pockets, I'm not sure. Um, I may just leave it open though, but when I first created these little tiny folders, I was planning on using them on the inside of a journal, um, but my stupid brain <laughs> didn't pay attention to the fact that I made these six inches wide. Well, when I went to try to get another piece of six by six or 12 by 12 paper to wrap around this, of course it was coming up short like because it was the same size and so I forgot to take into account the fact that I would need to make this a little bit shorter by like maybe a quarter inch or maybe half an inch on the width so that when I wrapped the cover it would go all the way to the edges. So I decided that I would just use these little file folders as the cover and when I opened them up I just took some lightweight like um, collared paper from Michaels and I just use <clears throat> and this is eight and a half by eleven I just folded it in half and it actually fits really nicely in there you can see it has just a tiny bit of a border so I didn't have to do any cutting and I just took um, a couple different collars of the paper and inside each um, I, after each little colored set paper I put um, five sheets of just printer paper and then I did another sheet of the colored paper and another five pieces of copy paper and so this made a nice little it's not like super thick but it's just nice nice little journal <clears throat> that um, you can use for like keeping Christmas lists in uh, shopping lists like recipes um, anything that you would like to put in there as you can see I already did poke holes in this one I just kind of estimated I didn't measure or anything um, but I haven't been able to use like to uh, bind it yet and I'm going to use this twine um, since I have so much of it it's just some um, gold and white and I think it's from uh, Walmart that's what it looks like maybe I just happened to find it last week, and so I thought I might as well use it. <clears throat> so I took the last, um, some of the cut parts out of the pad, and I just backed it on a little piece of scrap color paper and made a cute little 
front there. And I'm not going to put any like dimensional stuff on the front because um, these would be great to be able to toss into like a bag or, or um, something. I didn't want things getting like torn up off torn off of the front. So um, I will put some kind of little either sticker or words like saying or maybe I might personalize it whenever I decide exactly what I'm going to do. Who I'm going to if I'm going to give these to somebody. Um, but I love this pattern paper and then I didn't even pay attention until I was sticking this down on the cover that it goes the opposite direction which I think is pretty cool it gives it a neat little effect and then these little trees down here are really cute so there's the first one and then here is the purple and gold snowflake paper which I love this didn't match exactly 100% but it does have the purple little banner up there and I have this cute little gingerbread and on the inside I just used both sections of the um, purple um, colored I guess scrapbook paper yes um, <clears throat> so I thought that one was really pretty I love all the purple and um, this one's really cute with the ornaments and then the little mug of like a hot drink and a cookie and there's that little cut apart on the front and on the inside I just used some of the blue and some of the pink paper <clears throat> And then this last one, I did not have any cut aparts that were this. I had a couple more that were these rectangular cut aparts, but they were. I had another one of the gingerbread, and then I had two that were a blue, like this shade of blue. And so it did not match the green. So I just took this large fa la la one. I thought that one looked really cute with it because it has the green in there and plus all the other pretty colors. And then the paper inside here is just this really pale, almost a blue-green. So it actually goes pretty nicely with the cover here. So those are the four quick little journals. And like I said, it has the little pockets on the inside. And <clears throat> I probably will... I didn't mean to <laughs> snip off the side there. I meant to only angle the inside of the pocket, but I'm not really worried about it. Um... I might even take some washi tape or something and just make a little decorative edge on the pocket. Um, but these are four little journal slash notebooks. Um, real, made real easy out of four um, 12 by 12 pieces of paper. And I just cut them to nine inches in length. And um, I, basically, I didn't follow like a tutorial. I know there's a lot of them out there. I just eyeballed how far up I wanted my pocket to hit. Like how deep, how tall did I want the pocket? I just folded it up. So really, I didn't even cut it, I think, because this is about, I'd say that's about three inches. But the whole entire thing is nine inches tall by six inches wide. So I just folded the paper in half with the directional, I make sure the pattern was going up and down right, and then folded my pocket up on the bottom. And that's used an entire piece of 12 by 12 paper. And I've also used up a lot more, most of the cut aparts now out of that pad. Um, so next week will be the last week of this collab. Um, when I show my project for next week, I'll go ahead and, and show again the first three projects that I made. And hopefully I will have found my beading needle by this time next week so I can have these completed. <clears throat> and I will show these again next week. Um, so thank you so much everyone for stopping by. Hope you all have had a great week so far. And please check out all the other ladies who are doing this collab and um, see what awesome crafty Christmassy projects they have come up with. And I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.